All right, so still on the subject of orange wine, we have skins from field recordings. And I love this expression of Shannon. Um, it's a very different one than you would be used to um, getting in a place like France. Uh, and if you're in the Orange Club, there is going to be a fun comparison to an aged Shannon from South Africa. Um, so the color is quite deep. Um, and again, I'm pretty sure it's 100% Shannon from Central Coast. Oh no, I lied. 40% Shannon, 37 Pinot Gris, 9 Alvarino, 8 Verdejo, 5% Riesling. So that is a delicious combo. Um, and on the nose, it's like, it's really, it's got like a ton of depth just generally um, on the nose and the palate, which we'll talk about in a minute. So there's stone fruit in it. It's like <laughs> now knowing all those different grapes are in it, it makes a lot more sense. So things like like whatever the tiny oranges are, like the cuties, are those tangerines? That for sure. Um, but even like, there's also like deeper stuff in it, like those really bright Sicilian blood oranges would be a good one. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's just, there's a lot in there. So it's like kind of hard for me to suss it all out. Um, let's just go ahead and try it. Wow, that is yummy. So great round mouthfeel, <clears throat> much less astringent than some of the other orange wines we have. Um, this one's definitely way more fruit forward uh, than some of the others that we had this month. And it honestly, like it has a little bit of like vanilla on it too, which I'm pretty sure it doesn't have like oak, um, but I'm definitely getting like probably had some of it went through mallow would be my guess. And those, <laughs> I just want to keep drinking it. And those, um, those characteristics that we talked about in the nose are still there. And I would say that there's even more depth um, to this wine on the palate than there was on the nose. This is a really, really great expression of a California orange wine blend. Um, I would say this is a great gateway drug for your red wine friends to enter the red wine world. Also, it honestly like, and don't hate me for saying this and like this is not <laughs> this is not a bad thing it almost tastes a little bit like a buttery cali shard um it does not but like there's a character there's something about so, something about it some quality that like really hints at that for me so even if you if you've got like a buttery shard loving mom maybe this is also her <laughs> her venture into trying out some orange wine um, but really fun expression of it. Easy drinking, but like really still just has like, it has a lot going on. Um, so I would not put this in like the porch pounder category. I would say this is definitely more of like a, get a really cool like fruits and cheese board together and have some friends over. And like, this is, that's what this is for. So enjoy. <laughs> 